Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new action-packed episode of NWA USA. Joining me at this time is the church's money, Black G's. G's, I'm sure you're not happy about Jack Stane's attempted double cross, but regardless of that, Marche Rocket is in today's main event for the national title. You know something, Maymay? And that's the only thing that matters, that Marche is getting a shot at that national heavyweight title. I mean, who else in the NWA is more athletic than Marche? No one. Who should be the face of NWA USA? Marche Rocket. Now, as far as Jack's trying to do what he did, it's only going to get you one thing, big homie, a loss. The way I see things, May, Marche Rocket, Shea Dollars, Mr. All Day is the next NWA national heavyweight champion. You feel me? Okay. Thank you so much for your time, G's. Exciting episode of NWA USA. This crowd is electric. Our job. I love it. We're all night here. Velvet Sky, Joe Galley calling the action inside the NWA arena in our main event tonight. The NWA National Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Jack Stain is defending against Marche Rocket. That is going to be a barn burner, a real slugfest between two big behemoths, right, Velvet? I don't trust Jack Dane. Jack Stain, though. Yeah, you can't I, trust him as far as you could throw him. He's always got something going on, something up his sleeve. And you, you know? can't throw Jacks very far, but we're starting things off with our NWA World Women's Champion. The following match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit and is a non-title match. Introducing first, she is the NWA World Women's Champion, the Brick House Camille! Camille's made it very clear. She is going to be, in her words, a one-time champion. She's never gonna lose the Burke. And I have to say, if anybody can live up to that, it, it might be Camille. I agree with that. All and her right. opponent. Already in the ring, this is Caitlyn Alexis. So Caitlyn and Alexis, I'm you know excited to see what she's going to bring forth. Me too, but we got to take a quick break. Oh, okay. When we come back, we'll start this match. The NWA All Access Annual Pass on Fight. For just $49.99 a year, you can see all six NWA pay-per-views each year live on Fight. Enjoy first-run airings each Tuesday of new NWA Power episodes at a historical time of 6.05. Watch the action of NWA USA Saturdays and experience Fight-only special events and content like the acclaimed 10 Pounds of Gold series. All the action, all the power, all the pay-per-views, all the shows. For only $49.99, that's a savings of over $100 opposed to if you were just to order it all alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. NWA All Access on Fight. Why bother with monthly subscriptions when one year gets it all? June 11th, the National Wrestling Alliance returns to pay-per-view with NWA Always Ready, live from Knoxville, Tennessee. Scheduled to appear, NWA World Heavyweight Champion Matt Cardona, Nick Aldis, Trevor Murdoch, NWA World Women's Champion Camille, Chris Adonis, NWA World Television Champion Tyrus, and many more. Tickets on sale now at NWATix.com. That's NWATix.com. The National Wrestling Alliance, wrestling as it was meant to be. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA arena. 
as Camille, the NWA World Women's Champion, is taking on a debuting Caitlin Alexis. Can you imagine being Caitlin? Oh, she got hit! She got hit with that hula hoop! Okay, we see what kind of match this is gonna be. Caitlin Alexis making her debut here in the NWA against the champ. What a debut match. I don't think there was much inside that hula hoop. I don't think that just didn't, that just angered Camille. Oh, yeah. More Camille, than anything else. Camille's gonna unleash now. Get her out of there. Hey, get her out of the corner. If you're going to use a weapon on Camille or come at Camille, at least let it, you know, do some damage to her. Yeah, don't pick something that's a, a plastic uh -huh. hoop. Even if she is a yeah. hoop champion. The hula hoop's not going to do anything to Camille. Gut wrench suplex on Alexis. Camille talking smack to her now. Oh, but Caitlin Alexis showing she's got some fight in her. Not even backing down to our champion. But you want to make an impression here in the NWA in your debut. You even if it is against Camille, our NWA Women's Champion. And Camille in this non-title matchup. Oh, catching, catching Alexis. Camille knows she's got the biggest target, perhaps in the entire sport of professional wrestling on her oh, back. She's got that bear hug locked in. Oh, will Alexis tap out? Will she tap out center of the ring? Transitions into the vertical suplex. Shoulders are down. Well, kick One out. count by Caitlin Alexis. Wow. Oh, it just deadlifts her. Deadlifts her off of the canvas. Down with the backbreaker. Up oh, onto the shoulders. I'm so impressed with Camille every time she steps in the ring. Samoan drop. Cover this now. might be enough. No! She kicks out again! Alexis, she's got fight in her. She's got that fight inside of her. She, like I said, she wants to make an impression here in her debut. She is being outschooled and outmuscled by Camille. She needs to start sticking and moving. She needs to rely on some speed and some agility if she wants to stay alive in this matchup. Camille picking her up. Oh, she was looking for a head scissors, but Camille had it blocked. Oh, oh into the arm. She's going the arm. Going around. Oh, shoulders down on the champ with a one count. Oh, bicycle kick. Oh, my God. She might have just broke her nose with that. Oh, uh, we've in the seen three point Camille stance. in this dance before. We know what happens if she hits this. A lion is stalking her. Oh, she moves out of the way. Schoolgirl. Oh, so close with the pin. What an upset that would be for your debut here on NWA USA to be able to beat the champion. Oh, no, no. Oh, we've seen this before. Steamroller. We're going to try this again. Setting her up for it. Setting her up. Got her all set. Got her. It's over, baby. The winner of this match. The NWA World Women's Champion, Camille! Impressive showing by Caitlin Alexis here, but Camille, our NWA Women's Champion, standing tall. Virtually unstoppable, but we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. What's the gig? NationalWrestlingLast.com. Go to the store link. Of course, your Uncle Danny deals. It's got all the deals for you. The new merch. And of course, U2 candy. Show them what do you got on your shoulder right there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's the gray and white. Oh, yeah, you can't always have a black t-shirt, right? Kind of like this one, too. NWA USA. Blue and pink. That really pops. Look at this one. I love this one right here. Look at this. Six so fizzle. Oh, man. All shirts. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at this. What? What? Oh man, listen, this one, I'm gonna keep this one. But no, I'll sell some to you too. I swear, NationalWrestlingAlliance.com, store link, Danny Deals, candy, get there now! For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence. 
as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Hello, it is me, Big Strong Mims. Actually, let me, let me, let me take that back. I have a saying. I like to, I like to say you gotta work your ass off until there's no ass left. Hashtag no ass left. So I'm not just big strong Mims, I'm big ass, strong ass Mims without the ass on the end. And you know what? I'm a guy that loves competition. I'm a guy that loves opportunity and I'm a guy that loves to adapt to adversity. And that's what I do here in the NWA. And I, I've had some of the biggest, strongest opponents you could throw at me. And I've always, I've always come out on top in some sort of way. I found my way back to the top. I found my way to beat that adversity. That's just who I am. Adaptability, but that just doesn't sound right with big, strong, adaptable nibs. So it's just big, strong nibs with no ass. Welcome back inside the NWA arena, and what do you make of this? Gags the Gimp here on NWA USA. I dig Gags the Gimp. I'm sorry. I do? do? I'm sorry, not sorry. I do. I like weird. The following triple threat match is one fall. Introducing first, from Daytona Beach, Florida, this is KC Rocks. Why did you seem surprised by that, Joe? He is one half of the Rude Dudes from Detroit, Michigan. It's that dude, Jamie Stanley. And from the Sinister Minister's Dungeon, representing the Miserably Faithful, this is Gags the Gimp. I guess that reaction was me surprised that I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> speechless. I guess You're so. Speechless. As is Gags the Gimp. I mean, his mouth's covered with that zipper. Yes. Ready? Ready. And I don't know if Jamie Stanley knows what to do in this situation here. I don't think anybody knows what to do in this situation here. What's that stance by Gags the Gimp? <laughs> what is he doing? But Casey Rocks, he's, he's gimping. He's ready for a fight, I, I guess. Jamie Stanley. America's jawline. Feeling confident, the largest athlete in this match. What is Gags the Gimp doing? Oops. Okay. Oh, he's, he's, well, he's taking orders. He's gimping. Gimping ain't easy. Gimp. You beat me to it. <laughs> you you beat me to it. Oh, get sent to the turnbuckle. Here comes Rocks. It says FTK on the front of his pants. That's for Fear the Kicks. Goes for the hip toss, but he blocks it. Another hip toss attempt. Oh, lands on his feet. Oh, he gets oh my turned my inside gosh. out. He came down hard on his head and gags the gimp, breaks it up. Gags the gimp. Oh, oh at the face. Pouring at the face. Like some sort of little demon, some sort of devil. What is he doing? Is he digging his thumbs into the eyes? I wouldn't be surprised if he was. The sadistic teachings of the sinister minister. Well, we've seen the sinister minister's a sadistic, sadistic effect on Sal, and I yeah. wouldn't expect any less from God him. Oh, clawing like a rabid animal. That's what he reminds me of, a rabid animal. Yeah. Again, just torturing the skin of America's jawline. Gags the Gimp, oh. Jamie Stanley has had enough of Gags the Gimp. Ooh, sends him down hard. Jamie Stanley, look at his face, he feels disgusting. Agree. He feels disgusted, especially to some of these fans, they seem to like Gags the Gimp. I don't blame them. Perhaps they're into these sort of alternative lifestyles. Hey, don't blame them again. Hey. To each Not their at own. all, absolutely. <laughs> Abdominal stretch. 
cocky abdominal stretch. Don't get too cocky, Jamie Stanley. Now, is the Kip going to tap out? I mean, one would think he would enjoy this type of pain. Yeah, I think he does. He likes having pain. What the he's doing? He's tickling he's Jamie Stanley's ear. Tickling his ear. ear. That's one way to break that hole, right? I've never seen that before. That is the first it. time That's for me. Innovative. Back to rocking in. And speaking of which, here comes Casey Rocks. Lands on his feet. Eats a punch by the Gimp. I like the innovative offense of Gags the Gimp, I have to say. Scoop and a slam, but Gags is right on top of Stanley. Jamie Stanley is on a tear. Coming off the ropes. That dude. Oh, this cocky pin. Gags the Gimp. And Gags the right on his back. And this crowd loves it. Stanley trying to get him off, and he does. And then, uh oh, into the top turnbuckle. Gags the kid, but turns his attention to Casey. Casey with a step oh up at Zagari. Oh my that stiff kick. Another one. Let's go, guys, no! Casey Rock's coming alive now. Here in Music City. Oh, but he got caught. He got caught by Stanley. Flatliner, face first. But Kags the Kip is right there. Stanley puts him into the ropes. Kags the Kip sends him outside. Stanley lands on the floor. KC Rocks isolated with Kags. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the tongue. There's the tongue. tongue is out. There's that tongue, baby. Like a venomous snake. him down with the inverted DDT. What an interesting kick! The winner of this match, Gags the Gimp! Uh, what an interesting pin, what cover that was, I have to say. The tongue, well, the antics, the tickling of the ear, listen, the pin. at the end of the day, <laughs> Judas, Father James Mitchell, and the rest of the miser Miserably Faithful, they gotta be happy about this. Gags the Gimp with a big victory here and on NWA USA. The crowd's very pleased too. Folks, when we come back, it's our main event with the Dane event. Jack Dane takes on Marche Rocket. Joining me at this time is Colby Carino. Now, Colby, I was told you want to address the situation with Ricky Morton, but first I'd like to ask you, why are you afraid of facing Kerry Morton? Did you just ask why I was afraid? Did I, did I hear that right? Because Colby Carino ain't scared of nobody. The reason why Kerry Morton ain't getting that match is because I already beat him. I don't need to beat him again. There's no reason that he should have to uh, go out there and, and lower himself to have to lose to me again. Like, well, I don't want to squash the kid. I mean, like, oh, I like him a little bit at least. And Ricky, <laughs> you, want, you want a piece of Colby Carino? Do you know what the Carino name means in this industry? You don't just get matches with Carinos just by asking for them. If you want that match with me, like... Well, you know what? Why don't you go through on the fixers? Why don't you? That's a, that's an old school thing, right? You want to earn that match with Colby Carino? Why don't you? Uh, you want you want a wrecking ball? We'll get wrecking ball versus Ricky Morton. How about that, old schooler? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it gets through that. Okay. Thanks, Colby. Wrestling fans, join us Saturday, April 30th in Oak Grove, Kentucky for Power Trip 2, our latest NWA Power taping event. Here's just a few of the matches already scheduled for our return to the Bluegrass State. One half of the Commonwealth Connection, Harry Smith, takes on a man that's been wreaking havoc since his arrival in the NWA, Mike Knox. The NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide puts his title on the line against the last bastion of professional wrestling, Colby Carino. And the national treasure, Nick Aldis, faces NWA newcomer, Brian Ryan Myers. Also scheduled to appear, the NWA World Women's Champion, The Brickhouse Camille. NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. Tom Latimer. Former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch. And many more. For tickets, visit NWATix.com. That's NWATix.com.
USA fans, joining me at the podium at this time, Tom Latimer. Tom, I gotta be honest with you, you're looking great, you're probably feeling great, but at Power, you said you had a big announcement. You told me I had to wait. Well, we've waited. What's the big news? I do have a, a big announcement here, Kyle. Uh, to be honest, right, you know, I, I'm sick and tired of wandering around this place with no championship around my waist. I want gold. And I'm ready to pull the trigger on that. You see, nothing would make me more happier than to stand here with a championship belt around my waist, have my beautiful bride-to-be standing next to me with her championship, and together, the power couple of the NWA, together, champions. You know, that's, that's what would make me happy, Kyle. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to make her proud. So, wait, wait, wait. So, what do I want, right? What do I want? I plan on it. I want the NWA National Championship. So, Jax, unfortunately for you, mate, I take what I want. So, Jax, there's a big old bullseye on the back of your bald head, mate, okay? Hey, look, it is what it is. Well, how do you feel if Marche Rocket, wait, he's just walking away. I mean, Marche Rocket, you could have he to- He won't. Let's go to the desk. Now that was an emphatic wow. statement there, Tom Latimer. It seems like everybody wants to hold gold here in the NWA. Tom Latimer is confident Jack Stane will be successful in his defense. And I do have to talk about this. We, t we see it all the time with Jack Stane with his attorney, always trying to find legal strategies right. to where he doesn't need to compete. But according to our legal, our lawyers, our legal representation with the NWA, since Jack Stane entered into that matchup, uh, he has now entered an implied contract and must defend that championship here in the main event, which is happening now. The following match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. It is for the NWA National Championship. Introducing first, accompanied by Black G's. This is All Day Marche Rocket. Marche Rocket earning this opportunity during a tag team match, tagging with Jax Dane, defeating member, both members of the Fixers. And now has his chance to make history in the NWA. All day, And his opponent, he is the NWA National Heavyweight Champion. He is the Dane event, Jax Dane. Jax Dane has nowhere to go. He has no legal recourse to avoid this matchup as much as he has tried to with his team of lawyers. He's definitely not gonna make this easy on Mar for Marche Rocket though by any means. No, no, he is the Dane event. We have seen just how dev devastating he is. Ever since he got that championship at the Crockett Cup, cashing in his champion series. Well, especially how he went about getting that oh, championship. Yeah. Can't forget that. Savage beatdown on Anthony Mayweather, taking that championship from him. Let's see if he can fight there tonight. Here we go. All the discussion between lawyers is over. Jack Stane's got to put up and fight against Marche Rocket, who is incredibly agile and so fast for a man his size. A member of Idol Mania Sports Man Management, you know Austin Idol, he wants to add more gold. Not only have Tyrus be the TV champion, but also have Marche Rocket as the national champion. They want to hold all the gold in the National Wrestling Alliance. All it's gonna take is one win for Marche Rocket. And he could do it, he could do it with that rocket kick. It has been a knockout blow ever since he started using it here in the NWA. Jack Stane trying to play mind games with Marche Rocket, letting them know that I've got more muscle, I've got more power, but Rocket, I think he's got an advantage in the speed department and look at a stalemate between these two. Marche Rocket digging down deep. Jack Stane pushing. 
And Rocket getting the advantage. Powering Jack Stain. Rocket was able to get his hips lower than Jack Stain, giving him better leverage, backing him into the corner. That just made Jack Stain extremely mad. All he's day. stewing right now. He's stewing. Yeah. He's yes, still, he but he's stewing. Angry Jack Stain is oh, yeah. a dangerous Jack Stain. Once again, locking up these two heavyweights. Jack Stain sidestepping, grabbing the face, the jaw of Marche Rocket. And again, pie facing him. And Jack Stain, Marche's not going to stand for it. Rocking Jack Stain right now. And the Rocket Man's ready to blast off. Beautiful drop kick. I'm so impressed with the height on that drop kick by my Marche Rocket every single time. That is a 260 oh, pound yeah. man leaving his feet, kicking a man in the face. Shea Rocket in pursuit, kick to the midsection. Jax is on the attack. Blocked by Marche. Marche sends his face into the apron. Battling it out on the outside. Kevin Keenan beginning the count. Marche Rocket can only win this match inside the ring, pinfall or submission. Gotta get him back in the ring. That's the only way the title's gonna change hands. And once again, folks, I need to remind you, the reason you're not seeing Black G's here is because Jack Stane made it very clear he was not gonna have this matchup if Black G's was out here at ringside, even though he is a licensed manager. So you're seeing the politicking of Jack Stane. I was just gonna say, Jack, what I said before, Jack Stane, it's, like, it's his rules, his stipulations. If he gets away with it, I don't know. Well, you get pulled when you're the national champion. Essentially a de facto number one contender for the World's Heavyweight Championship. He's going to work on that knee. Oof. Marche is reeling after that. Jax Dane. No, no, not this. Come on, Jax. Come on, Jax. Ooh, it is a great strategy to try and ground Marche since he is a high flyer too. That's a good point. If you can take that arsenal away from the Rocket Man, keep him grounded, not allow him to take off, this will definitely be in Jack Stane's favor. He's taking his time on the outside. Oh, and more pain and punishment. The, yeah, that left leg. Six. Kevin Keenan, the referee, up to a count of six. Jack Stane back in the ring. But can Marche Rocket get to his feet? Can he, is he going to be able get, to stand he's up? He's going to get dra dragged to his feet, only momentarily by Jack Dane. He was focusing his attention on the legs. He's got it all tied up. Look at that half grab. He's grabbing the wrist, adding more leverage. Marche trying to get to the ropes, so desperately trying to get to the ropes. Jax has the cutting bone of his forearm, digging into the hamstring, the into the calf muscle. Continuing to set in. So close. He's just inches away. You can get there. You can get there. Marche does. Jax Dane not letting go. He's got He's that gonna five hold count. On. He's going to hold on for as long as he wants. He's getting in the face of Kevin Keenan. Not smart. Yeah. Not smart. Our referees, they get a lot of support. Giving Marche a little bit of they time to recover, sure, though. He gets the boot up. They want to make sure that these contests are clean and decided in the ring. Big shoulder tackle. You can see Marche limping. The damage has been done to that left leg. But he's got to keep that leg down on the gas pedal. If he wants to win the national Joe, championship. Do you think he's going to be able to hit that rocket kick now? That's an excellent point. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do that. Shoulders are down. Two count. If he can't do it, he's going to have to find another way to try and beat Jack Stane because no one could kick out of that rocket kick. That's 100% true. 
But even if he can land it, if, he, if he's got a weak leg to base off of, I don't know if it's going to have the same level of power behind it. He would just be solidifying the title win if he could hit, hit that rocket kick. But the damage has been done. He's got him lined up. He's going for it. Oh. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he came down hard. He came down hard. Oh, oh man. Goes down hard again. Oh, he got him. He's still... The winner of this match and still NWA National Champion, Jax Day! Just think if Marche Rocket was able to connect with that rocket kick, the outcome of this match could have been completely different. I completely agree, Velvet, but either way, the Dane event standing tall with a national championship in his hand. Thank you so much for joining us here on NWA USA. We'll see you Tuesday for Power.